Hello all, this is Mr. Mayer, and in this video we will be discussing rotational symmetry in regular polygons and circles. So a quick reminder, for regular polygons only, this is only true if your polygon is regular, you're going to divide a full 360 degrees by the number of sides in order to find the angle of rotation. So your key steps here, you're going to take your 360 degrees, and you're going to divide it by the number of sides. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First things first, let's go ahead and we are going to find the degree of rotation to create rotational symmetry. So here I have my regular, if I count the sides, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, six-sided shape is a hexagon. So let's go through and make sure you see how to do this. So I went ahead, put a little red dot here, making sure that I can count how many times we're about to rotate this figure. I'm going to go ahead and start. So it was at the top left. Now I'm going to rotate it. Here's my first rotation. And I've ro rotated it once. So the, um, the circle has moved one place. I can move it twice, three times, four times, five times, I'm almost back to where I started, and at the sixth time, the figure maps to where it started. Mapping means where it la originally landed. Okay, so I found that there are going to be six rotations before I get to 360 degrees. So to go ahead and work this out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 360 degrees, I'm going to divide that by the number of rotations I was able to make, which was six. Let's go ahead again, do this in our head. If I do 360, well, let's drop, drop that zero. So 36 divided by six is six, and now we can put that zero back on. So we are going to find that it is going to be 60 degrees for each rotation when I am trying to figure out what the rotational symmetry is going to be. All right, so we've done it so far. We know every 60 degree rotation is going to uh, create rotational symmetry. Now our job is to find each distinct degree of rotation. Okay, to find those, what we want to do is, well, it's not just at 60, it's every single 60. So what it says we're going to do is we're going to add the degree of rotation as many times possible until the sum is 360. So let's walk through that. Again, the first one was at 60 degrees. I'm going to add another 60 to get the second degree. 60 plus 60 is 120. I continue to add 60s. This time I'm going to use 3. Next time I'm going to use 4. Instead of writing it 4 times, the shorthand to addition is to multiply. So I'm going to take 4 and multiply that by that 60 degrees to 240. Next is 5 60s. If I multiply this, I get 300. And the last one, this is a great way to double check anyway. 6 times 60, ooh, that's that perfect 360. So these are your distinct degrees of rotation. Okay, This is what you are looking for when it is asking what are the distinct degrees of rotation. Let's finish up here. If I'm looking at regular polygons, We've already realized as the number of sides increases, the amount of rotational symmetry also increases. So if I have a five-sided shape, if I have my pentagon, there will be five distinct degrees, um, including that 360. So there, I can rotate this five times, five uh, different degrees of rotational symmetry. If I do a six-sided shape like we just did, it's six. If I do seven, it's seven for a heptagon. Whoa, I jumped. This shape does not have any sides. So our last investigation is to discuss a circle. For a circle, in a circle, a circle can be rotated in every single direction 
to create rotational symmetry. It actually has an infinite amount of degrees of rotation. There are no sides to a circle, so there's no stopping point which I have to stop rotating. I can move a little bit, a little bit more, I can go all the way around, all the way around, or in fact I can go 359 degrees, 359.99999999 degrees. You can go as far as you want or as little as you want. This actually has an infinite amount of degrees of rotation. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you next time.